welcome to um, another DVD on packaging, unboxing, or whatever the heck you want to call it. I have uh, two DVDs and one VHS to show you, and two of these. So these we're going to keep later, I'm going to show you later. Okay, um, the first one I want to talk uh, to a lot of you guys about. Um, a lot of you, a lot of you guys out there uh, that live in Maine, uh, the state of Maine, and all that. I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys heard of Martin's. I do think it's owned by Walmart. Uh, it was founded, uh, founded in the '60s, I think '65, '66, something like that. And years later, if I probably 25, 30 years later it was bought by Walmart. I, I don't know when exactly it was bought by Walmart, the company and all that. But the most the most reason why I do think it's owned by Walmart is you go, uh, per particular uh, one that I, I I have in the state of Maine, in Madawaska, where I go, uh, and it has Walmart carts and all that. So yeah, pretty much, it's pretty much evident that Walmart owns it, so, so yeah. And I was looking, uh, they pretty much don't have a good selection of DVDs, and uh, it's pretty shitty. But you have to really, like, dig. This is what I love. Dig, look, and dig, and dig, and dig, and oh my god. And I actually found this. Um, never heard of it. Uh, North Shore. A VHS tape. And I paid a quarter. A quarter for a VHS tape. This is really awesome. Brand new, factory sealed. Um, I don't know if it's factory. I don't know if it's brand new. It probably was. Uh, no, I don't think it. I don't think it is brand new. I think it's repackaged. With a new seal, but anyways, it's the, the the VHS tape itself is is in pristine condition. Um, other than this little uh, slit on the barcode and all that. Um, oh no, 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 original, look, you see, actually see the watermark right there, that, that pretty much means that's an original release, and it was never opened, never repackaged again, like, resealed. Uh, North, uh, North Shore and all that, never heard of the film, um, it stars, uh, I don't know. A lot of the stars, uh, Matt Adler, uh, Nia Peoples, uh, Peoples, not, not Peoples, but Peoples, uh, John Philbin, Jerry Lopez, and Gregory Harrison. So, yeah. Uh, probably, we'll watch this film. If I feel like it, I'll probably do a little review on it. I'm not really that interested in surfing, but I've never really lived in the southern uh, uh, place and all that or uh, like in California or places like that that you, you it's really always hot and everything I've never actually lived there and I couldn't live there because I, I'm a person that loves the cold loves snow and everything so yeah okay uh, the next one is a 19 a 1980s film um, I have no clue. A lot of this, these uh, three items right there. I no, actually two items. I don't know at all what I'm really in for. But it has it has John Cusack in it, so it can't be that all all that bad. Uh, sure thing. Uh, got this for two thirty nine. So yeah, less than. Three bucks for a VHS, and it seems it's a two disc. I have no clue, and it looks like it's a two disc. I have no damn. Well, it seems like it's a two disc and all that. I don't know. If there's probably papers in it. I don't know. It, it just really. It just really feels like there's two movies in this. 
Oh yeah, there is. Oh yeah, there is. Huh. Oh, okay. Oh, okay, there's a six, wow, this is pretty rare. 16 page Life Magazine booklet of totally tubular 80s factoids. Eight. Wow, I do think that we have a soundtrack for this. Hey, I could be wrong, but it says right here. H, yeah! Eight tunes that were all the rage and can be again on CD. Oh my god, there's a fucking CD soundtrack in this, man! For 239! Holy shit, the fucking movie to eight fucking songs? Ah, that's fucking awesome, dude! Less than three bucks, you get a movie and you get eight songs. This is fucking awesome. Holy Christ. I've never heard of the film, but yeah. I'm an 80s buff, so... Police Academy, uh, Beverly Hills Cop, uh, <laughs> Nightmare on Elm Street. 80s. Total 80s. Uh, next one. I've never actually seen the entire series, or I don't think I've ever seen any of the episodes of... Uh, this particular film, but I don't know if this was the original film or if it was uh, a film that they did after the series, but I have no clue. I've never actually heard of, uh, of uh, this film. Uh, Thunderbirds, uh, her, uh, Thunderbirds are go. So, yeah. This one, too. I think there's a soundtrack in this. Okay, um, is, is there something? Audio commentary, uh, history and appeal, uh, featurette factory of dolls and rockets, featurette epics and miniature featurette, um, animated photo gallery, who said that, quiz and original theatrical trailer. 239, really awesome. I do think, I, no, th this one only has one disc. But the one thing, that, that the, the last thing I showed you guys, I had no clue, I just bought it for the, just because it was written 1980s on it, I had no clue that they had a CD in it, so. But yeah, this one I do think that it's only uh, one disc. But uh, yeah, let's open a good beer. Some good uh, Pabst Blue Ribbon, amazing beer. I just want to say to a lot of you guys that live in Milwaukee, you make amazing beer. Okay, um, let's open the first uh, of two packages. This one I do think is a DVD. Yep. Okay. Uh, this foam, I'm going to post... Um, I'm going to post, uh, no, uh, is that the, yeah, I'm going to post the entire film in the bottom, if uh, a lot of you guys don't have money to buy DVDs and all that, but it's really cheap on Amazon, like eight, nine bucks, uh, a really, really interesting film that I really want to watch, and another link I'm probably going to send, uh, probably instead, no, I'm not going to post the entire film. Because I, I want you guys to support this um, this film. I've never actually seen it, but the person that I got it from, like uh, the YouTuber that posted, um, I think, the most goriest, most effed up movies ever or something like that. Um, I actually learned about the film because of him. And I heard a lot of really effed up things about the film. Really, it was really bad, and and it was really like in the top ten most effed up movies ever made. So uh, I do think that the director is dead. Uh, died a couple years back. Um, 
the film is uh, Bride of the Bride of Frank and Butter Sound. Too disturbing to watch, too compelling to turn away. The legendary underground sensation that's been illegal, duplicated, illegally duplicated, I should say, and bootlegged around the world is finally, <coughs> excuse me, finally available, uh, legitimately on DVD. It was released by uh, SRS Cinema. So yeah. Um, mostly, I've never actually seen the film, but mostly what the premise of the film is, a little what 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 I've I've read and what I've I've seen a, a little of the film is it's about an old man that lives on the street and all that and gets adopt, uh, adopted by workers in a factory and all that and when you piss him off he kills you and when you do some fucked up shit you know he kills you or stuff like that I, I'm probably gonna watch this film and give my uh, thought on the film what I thought of it and if any of you guys should really buy it but anywho you really really should um, should uh, buy us and support underground film uh, films, I should say, because there's a lot of good film. Excuse me, there's a lot of good films out there, but they're rare. They're rarely uh, seen these days. Mostly in the '80s and '90s is mostly why I liked it. Is you had some of the most amazing filmmakers out there. And some of the most crappiest fucking movies that you've ever seen. But they were good. They were crappy. They were not good. And they, they, they were fun to watch. Compared to films these days, is they're so crappy. You can't even fucking watch the entire film because it's so bad. It's not even good. Um, mostly the 80s started this. And it was directed by... Don't remember. Um, I don't know. Um, a lot of the special features. Uh, Thirty-minute alternate ending. Uh, the never-before-seen deleted camping scene. Blooper reel. Uh, Frank's home movies. Uh, home movie featuring uh, featurette of Frank's appearance at a film festival in Switzerland. And his trip to Paris, British Butter Sound, uh, an in-depth look into the creative and technical process that brought us to this art, uh, heartwarming and oral uh, innovation. Features, uh, okay, and, uh, what the hell? Features. <laughs> I was saying the same thing. Uh, inside, insightful film film commentary from award-winning director uh, Escalpo, um Don Bald. Celebrate, uh, celebrated technical director Brent Butter, uh, Buttersworth and international star of stage and screen Frank O'Brien. Uh, five original tra uh, trailers, tons of propaganda, a unique montage of behind the scenes promotional material, and plus four hidden bonuses. So I really want to start uh, watching a lot of really fucked up things. Um, in the near future because I, I just don't love films these days I, I don't have the passion to, to watch them I don't have I, I don't want to spend my money on movies these days because 25 30 bucks you get you go and you spend your money and it's a piece of shit that you just wanna open the window and throw it out like but compared you pay four or five six dollars for a crappy movie Okay, you're not out of 25, 30 bucks and all that. You're just out four, five, six bucks. So it's still, it's still interesting. Um, what else can I say? Um, I, the last video I talked about um, the Totac films, um, August Underground, I should say. Now I remember. August Underground and Mortem and the trilogy of films and all that. This is probably a trilogy I'd like to see. A lot of people say it's really god awful, really piece of garbage and crap. Other people really elevated to a certain level. I don't know. I really don't know. 
Uh, I've never seen the films. I do think that they have it on. <clears throat> excuse me, they have uh, the films online, the trilogy, but I've never actually watched the entire uh, trilogy of films online. So, um, some other films, uh, nothing really much comes to mind. It's like. Um, like a comment on Amazon said, um, if you love trauma films, you're, you're going to love this. So I love trauma films. So pretty much I'm going to love this film. Uh, I'm a big, I'm not the most, I'm not the biggest trauma fan ever, but I, I love trauma films. Uh, Lloyd Kaufman makes amazing films. Um, some crappy films, but I don't know, it's really amazing in my opinion. If any of you guys out there have never seen a trauma film, um, I would highly recommend to any of you guys out there to go on Amazon, eBay, or other websites and all that and order yourself at least one trauma film. Um, probably, if you love Shakespeare, I probably would highly recommend uh, Tromeo and Juliet. But if you want to go, um, if you don't want to go hardcore too much, probably... Um, one film that's not too bad, uh, probably start with The Toxic Avenger, uh, the original 1980s cult classic film, yeah. Um, the next one is a Blu-ray, and they just actually released a reimagined, a remake of this film, wanted to get, uh, the Blu-ray of it. Uh, Robocop, the original. Uh, Paul uh, Ver... Uh, Ver... Ol, Ver... <laughs> and anyways, Paul. I, I cannot fucking mention his family name. Sorry about that. Ver... Ol... <laughs> I'm really bad at... I'm really bad at... Uh, mentioning his name and all that. Sorry about a lot of you guys. Um, but love Robocop and love... Um, Total Recall my favorite uh, probably two of my favorites of his uh, uh, of his uh, direct uh, directing and all that of uh, two films uh, the two films that I did talk about um, they actually remade so uh, this is 90th anniversary MGM uh, film uh, 90, not 90th anniversary of Bocop but I mean 90th anniversary of MGM um okay uh, Flesh and Steel, The Making of Robocop, Robocop, Korean Legend, 1987, featurette, shooting Robocop and making Robocop, uh, The Boardroom, uh, storyboard with commentary by animator Phil uh, Tippett, uh, deleted scenes, villains of Old Detroit, special effects, uh, then and now, commentary director uh, Paul, Paul, and writer um, Ed, uh, New new me new me new me -er, whatever something like that and executive producer John Davidson. So it's really frustrating. A lot of these guys has have really weird names, but yeah, it's, I'm really not that great at pronouncing a lot of uh, weird names and all that. But yeah, it's a, I don't really need to talk about this film. I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys out there have seen. Uh, this film and like it probably will buy uh, the remake of the film the reimagining of Robocop I heard a lot of good things heard a lot of bad things about the film um, it's, it's really hard to say when you actually haven't seen the film yet you can't really say uh, nothing bad about it but yeah uh, the one film I'm probably going to go see this summer is probably the new TMNT film uh, August 8, I think, 2014, it's coming out. But the one thing that pisses me off right now is they haven't released a trailer. They haven't released any pictures of Splinter. They haven't released any uh, actual information about the film. It's, it's really like March, April, May, June, July, August. So there's seven months left. No, six. March, April, May, June, July, August. So there's six months left. 
six months until the movie comes out and there's barely there's nothing it's like I don't know why they do this like there's no there's really like no um how can I say this um enthusiasm or something like that enthusiasm um around the film uh, nobody knows nothing uh, the studio hasn't shown a picture hasn't there's actually pictures online all that but I, I'm not I'm talking about real uh, studio pictures and all that and trailers and and such I don't know I don't know why they're keeping the film so secret that I don't know it's just really frustrating for a guy to me that grew up with the original 1980s uh, Ninja Turtle and all that loved in 2000 three one uh, own the five volumes by IW uh, um, IW something a company that released the original comics 1984 comics and all that um, yeah this really frustrating the phone can be good the phone can be bad I don't know uh, we're gonna have to find out in August when it comes out uh, I will give my ultimate uh, fan review really big fan of the original 1990s film um, just for the music um, the story uh, the cin cinematography the atmosphere mostly everything about the film is, is amazing so yeah will the 2014 uh, TMNT film be, be good? we're gonna have to find out uh, all in all, everybody, that's pretty much what I have to uh, say in this video. If any of you guys do have a question, do have suggestions, I can make different videos and all that. Because sometimes I really run out of ideas and I don't know. But anyways, everybody, good night, good evening, and have a good St. Patrick's Day. Don't drink too much.